today I'm going back to the UK I'm feeling much more relaxed on the return journey because I know kind of know what to expect and I've done the route in the other direction once so it feels like it's on familiar territory seems to be roadworks happening right on the last motorway so the truck in front of me obviously twigged but I just assumed I, I would keep going and I ended up going the roundabout back way where there were people obviously trying to get across the channel that's that's what i had been warned about on the main road is don't stop if, if there's stuff on the motorway try to keep going keep your doors locked and yeah so <laughs> that got my heart going a little bit but it all linked up <laughs> I don't know <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit challenging reversing with this caravan. Voila, so lane 111, 111. Okay, Let's see thank you, that. Missy. Well, I made it. <laughs> A few interesting patches. There are quite a lot of signs saying car ferry turn off. So along the coast, I think maybe between Dunkirk and Cali, there seems to be other ferry terminals. So it was a little confusing with other signs saying car ferry this way. I'm here, I'm waiting, I'm in the line, I'm early. <laughs> We're just pulling in now. I was allowed to come down to the car. And I'm back on three, back connected to the UK <laughs> phone. Uh, I'm going to hotspot night and just watch back-to-back -back YouTube videos I think <laughs> I feel like I've been going through withdrawal <laughs> so once I get off this ferry it's another hour and I've picked this place specifically because it's straight off the motorway M20 and it looked easy to get to and it just means tomorrow's drive won't be quite as long so I'm kind of learning to take things a little easier here <laughs> Now one thing I've got to remember is driving on the left, everything's back to being on the left.
really nice staff like really friendly can't get over how friendly and staff are at these these club sites but I'm hoping he won't notice how off-center I am with the white pig <laughs> so this white pig the caravan corner is supposed to be here so I'm that far off yeah looking around everyone else is absolutely perfectly bang on but I am kind of tucked away here so I'm quietly hoping no one will really notice or won't comment because I am moving on tomorrow so hopefully <laughs> hopefully I'm keen to just relax relax for a bit and then I should probably go to the, the supermarket I was just staying one night at this campground I'm moving on so it's a three hours drive which with a caravan will probably be three and a half to four hours with the traffic changing so <laughs> could do with another day of rest but anyway moving on so this campground was super easy to get to from the motorway my next campground doesn't look quite so simple I'm on M20, then M26, M25 West, M3, A303, A36, A362. And then I go down some narrow roads. I'll just have to um, stay focused on being in the right lanes. Pretty sure I felt something move this morning and now, now I just cannot connect it. It just will not slot in. So I've been trying to push the side thing to move this around, but I'm gonna have to Google it, I think. It just, it will not do anything. I found a YouTube video that shows me how to fix it, and they mentioned one of these. I'd remembered seeing one of these, so I'll try this first. Yeah, it's way off. No. This little section here is supposed to be at the bottom, so it's somehow just moved on its own. Hopefully this can come off. I felt it moving. So I'm not that surprised. Here we go. Okay, oh, there's some water in it. So, what did I do? What do I need to do? You'll notice that there is an arrow on the top there. That arrow must be in line with one of these lugs and then you need to put this sheath back over the top of it oh, that's better that seems right okay and then try that yeah okay I think it's working now let's give it a go <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, that's good. The power of YouTube videos, otherwise I would have been finding the the warden at this campground.
The final road to the campground is super narrow and it just goes on and on and on. I would seriously check the arrival times on the website because uh, meeting a caravan on that road would become very awkward I think. I was planning to do my food shop tomorrow but I was just talking to a friendly couple here who recognized me and they said it's going to be raining tomorrow. It's beautiful weather today so I might go into from the local town today. Apparently it's quite cute in the city center 